This is the Honda 3.5 liter engine. I'll show you how to clean the EGR valve, which is exhaust gas recirculation valve. And uh, it's right here with this engine. It's similar with, uh, it's right here, the front of the engine. And it's about similar. So open these four, four uh, screws. This four screws is 10 millimeter. <clears throat> open it and lift it up. Now, for this side cover, turn it anti clockwise with a flat head. This thing just pops up in a full little come. So there's nothing holding it, no screws, nothing. Just This is the EGR valve. In our other video showed how to clean the EGR port just by uh, by removing this and the line we clean all the intake plan on. Now we'll show how to open the EGR valve and clean the line right there. I'm pretty sure it's all uh, all clogged with carbon and uh, it can cause a tap 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 problem when the, especially when the car is warm and engine starts to tap 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 like as if it's knocking like as if uh, the cylinder knock kind of uh, connecting rod knock kind of sound so let's see if uh, it goes away now the EGR uh, valve nuts there are two nuts holding down uh, is 12 millimeter this is 12 millimeter. So we created an extension. We needed an extension like uh, about a foot, and then it goes straight down. The bolts and two nuts are right there. One down there, one here. So we don't have to open anything else. Basically, it's gonna go right here. Through this. And uh, it should come disconnect the connect electrical connector, press and press this little tap down and pull it out. It's disconnected. So now we'll uh, open this too. You can lubricate it a little bit. Usually it's very rusted or corroded with some WD-40 or transmission oil helps. Okay, so nuts came out very easily. Now the easier time to pull it out. This is it. This looks pretty clean actually. Now whether it works or not, I'm not sure. You can test it. And that line is clean. Okay, so to replace it, put the new one in and uh, tighten it securely. One thing, this, this hose, the lower one, this little rubber hose here, this is a rad hose actually. Coolant, coolant is flowing through this one. And because this one is very close to the EGR and the engine, it heats up and it cracks often. So 
<coughs> it's very important to replace this piece of hose with a, another piece of radiator hose. Don't use a vacuum hose. This is not a vacuum line. This is a radiator coolant line. You can replace this hose as well as the other end of it, which is right here. Right here. The top one is air line going to the uh, intake, but this one is coolant. So you can replace these two with two new clips. Okay. Three, two, one. So before putting it back, put some high temperature gasket maker. So there's no vacuum leak and I'll uh, install it. Don't put too much, otherwise it's gonna go in the intake. And uh, to test the EGR, you can try hooking up with the ground and positive to see if it should go up and down. That diaphragm inside should go up and down. The other way to test is while the vehicle is running, hot engine is warm or hot enough EGR should start to work so it should just go up and down if not sometimes there's no error code but EGR is faulty time to replace it so you put the EGR valve back on with the 12 millimeter nuts tighten it equally on both ends and that's it so don't forget to subscribe and share if you like like the video there's more uh, car repair tips that can save you money i'll send you more i'll uh, post more okay take care bye